Charles Adolf Wurtz. Charles Adolf Wurtz, 26 November 180, 1710 May 1884, was an Alsatian French chemist. He is best remembered for his decades-long advocacy for the atomic theory and for ideas about the structures of chemical compounds against the sceptical opinions of chemists such as Mussel and Berthelotta and Henry T. Insane Clatterville. He is well known by organic chemists for the Wurtz reaction to form carbon-carbon bonds by reacting alkyl halides with sodium and for his discoveries of ethylamine, ethylene glycol and the Aldo reaction. Wurtz was also an influential writer and an educator. Life. As all was, he never used the name Charles was born in Strasbourg, where his father, Johann Jacob Jean Jack Wurtz, was a Lutheran pastor in the nearby town of Wolfersheim. His wife, Adolf's mother, Sophie Kreis, died in 1878. When he left the Protestant gymnasium at Strasbourg in 1834, his father allowed him to study medicine as next best to theology. He devoted himself specially to the chemical side of his profession with such success that in 1839 he was appointed at the Strasbourg Faculty of Medicine. For the summer semester of 1842 he studied under Justice von Liebig at the University of Giessen. After graduating from Strasbourg as medical doctor in 1843 with a thesis on albumin and fibrin, he went to Paris, where he first was referred by Jean-Baptiste Dumas to Antoine Ballard. His employment with Ballard lasted a few months, after which Wurtz began work in Dumas's private laboratory. In 1845, he became assistant to Dumas at the École de Médecine, and four years later began to give lectures on organic chemistry in his place. As there was no laboratory at his disposal at the École de Médecine, he opened a private one in 1850 in the Rue Gauntier, but three years later the building was sold and the laboratory had to be abandoned. In 1850, he received the Professorship of Chemistry at the new Institut National Agronomique at Versailles, but the institute was abolished in 1852. In the following year, the Chair of Pharmacy and Organic Chemistry at the Faculty of Medicine became vacant by the resignation of Dumas and the Chair of Medical Chemistry by the death of Matthew Orfila. Both of these chairs were now abolished, and Wurtz was appointed to the newly defined post of Organic and Mineral Chemistry. At the same time, a new chair devoted exclusively to pharmacy was awarded to Eugene Sauberin. In 1866, Wurtz undertook the duties of Dean of the Faculty of Medicine. In this position, he exerted himself to secure the rearrangement and reconstruction of the buildings devoted to scientific instruction, urging that in the provision of properly equipped teaching laboratories, France was much behind Germany, sees report Les Hortes, Etudes, Partiques, Dans, Les Universités Allemandes. 1870. In 1875, resigning the office of dean but retaining the title of honorary dean, he became the first occupant of a new chair of organic chemistry at the Sorbonne, which the government had established due to his influence. However, he had great difficulty in obtaining an adequate laboratory. The buildings of the new Sorbonne that ultimately provided modern scientific laboratories were not completed until 1894, ten years after his death. Wurtz was an honorary member of almost every scientific society in Europe. He was the principal founder of the Paris Chemical Society, 1858, was its first secretary and very served as its president. In 1880, he was vice president and in 1881 president of the French Academy of Sciences, which he entered in 1867 in succession to Théophile Jules Pelles. In 1881, Wurtz was elected life senator. Wurtz's name is one of the 72 names inscribed in the Eiffel Tower. Wurtz died in Paris on 10 May 1884, probably of complications due to diabetes, and was buried in the northeast of the city at Père Lachaise Cemetery. Scientific and academic work. Influenced by such leading figures as Liebig and Dumas, by 1856 Wurtz became a powerful advocate of a reform in chemical theory then being led by Charles Gerhardt and Alexander Williamson. This new chemistry of the 1850s took the idea of chemical atoms seriously, adopted atomic weights for the elements that strongly resembled the modern ones, and proposed a unitary schematic plan that opposed the dualistic theory derived from the work of John Jacob Berzelius. Soon thereafter, Wurtz also adopted the new structural theory that was developing from the work of younger chemists such as August Kekulé. However, 
a kind of sceptical positivism was influential in France during the second half of the 19th century and worked his efforts to gain a favourable hearing for atomism and structuralism in his home and were largely frustrated. Wurtz's first published paper was on hypophosphorus acid 1841 and the continuation of his work on the acids of phosphorus 1845 resulted in the discovery of sulfophosphoric acid and phosphorus oxychloride as well as of copper hydride but his original work was mainly in the domain of organic chemistry. Investigation of the cyanic ethers 1848 yielded a class of substances which opened out a new field in organic chemistry, for, by treating those ethers with caustic potash, he obtained methylamine, the simplest organic derivative of ammonia 1849, and later 1851 the compound urease. In 1855, reviewing the various substances that had been obtained from glycerin, he reached the conclusion that glycerin is a body of alcoholic nature formed in the type of three molecules of water, as common alcohol is on that of one, and was thus led 1856 to the discovery of the glycols or diatomic alcohols, bodies similarly related to the double water type. This discovery he worked out very thoroughly in investigations of ethylene oxide and the polyethylene alcohols. The oxidation of the glycols led him to homologues of lactic acid, and a controversy about the constitution of the latter with Adolf Wilhelm Hermann Kolb resulted in the discovery of many new facts and in a better understanding of the relations between the oxy and the amido acids. In 1855, he published work on what is now known as the Wurtz reaction. In 1867, Wurtz synthesized norine by the action of trimethylamine on glycol core hydrin. In 1872 he discovered the aldol reaction and characterised the product as showing the properties of both an alcohol and an aldehyde. Alexander Bordin discovered the reaction independently in the same year. The product was named an aldol, pointing out its double character. This led to a second confrontation with Kolb. In addition to this list of some of the new substances he prepared, reference may be made to his work on abnormal vapour densities. While working on the orphans, he noticed that a change takes place in the density of the vapour of amylene hydrochloride, hydrobromide, and C, as the temperature is increased, and in the gradual passage from a gas of approximately normal density to one of half-normal density, he saw a powerful argument in favour of the view that abnormal vapour densities, such as are exhibited by sal ammoniac or phosphorus pentachloride, ought to be explained by dissociation. From 1865 onwards, he treated this question in several papers, and in particular maintained the dissociation of vapour of chloral hydrate, in opposition to Etienne Henry St. Clair de Ville and Marcel and Berthelot. For 21 years, 1852-1872 was published in the Annals de Chimie et de Physique Abstracts of Chemical Work Done Out of France. The publication of his great dictionnaire de chimie pure et de in which he was assisted by many other French chemists, was begun in 1869 and finished in 1878. Two supplementary volumes were issued 1880-1886 and in 1892 the publication of a second supplement was begun. Among his books are Chimie made de Kale 1864, Lessons Elementaires de Chimie Modern 1867, Theorie des Atoms dans la Conception Gainerial du Monde 1874, La Theorie Tomique 1878, Progrès de l'industrie des matières colorantes artificielles 1876 and Traité de chimie biologique 1880-1885. His Histoire des doctrines chimiques, the introductory discourse to his dictionnaire also published separately in 1869, opens with the phrase. Although it raised a storm of protest in Germany, the sentence is less nationalistic than it appears. He intended to refer only to the birth of chemistry under the great Antoine Laurent Lavoisier, rather than asserting exclusive French national ownership of the science.